Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a flip through of this journal. I am really excited to show you guys this journal, so let's just get into it. So this journal, um, I have a video of me setting it up so you can get more details about like the stickers and the type of journal in that video. I'll put an iCard up above. I decorated this inside page. I don't know why. I included some of the things that came in with the notebook just so I had a little more information about the journal and I just added some decorations with that and my address and phone number are on here so I'm going to have to be covering that. Also just a quick side note, ignore my nails. They're a mess right now just because they're falling off. They're in that in-between stage but yeah. So I still haven't written the end date yet, so let's do that right now. Wait, that's kind of cool. The dates, it like shifted over one. No one cares, it's fine. Just interesting to me. So I decorated with like this light bulb thing from a magazine and I kind of made that a little theme for the beginning of the journal. This is just my opening page with my start and end date and titling it as journal number three. Then this is from a magazine. I just like, I talked about like my last journal and why I'm excited for this journal. So just a random day and then Inside, I actually have some photos, and I put it in this. This was the little baggie that my stickers came in. So I just repurposed it for putting in these pictures, and I decorated it. So I'll show you um, these two illustrations. My friend Grace is an artiste. She does a lot of digital art, and so she did one of like our friend group, and they're avatar themed. Well, technically, this is the first one she made. I'm this one. Even though I think we've decided I'm an airbender, not sure with this one. I think, so with both of these, part of it actually got cut off, but I love Oppa so much, so this one's my favorite. Also, I love the colors. I'm on the top petting Oppa because I love Oppa. So she has an art account, so I'll make sure I put that on the screen. Definitely go follow her. This was a continuation of this day. And then this is just a day, and I liked how I did that where I just did blobs and I wrote around it. So this was kind of the end of school and just stuff I had to do. And then my friend sent me a letter out of nowhere, but I included her letter. Then I did a spread about wearing makeup, I guess. Just some days. Oh, here's a little fun fact. I was wondering where this was in my journal. On this day, this was on May 8th, I had saved over 80,000 gallons of water and 800 animals from being vegan. And the fact is like every six months you like save a certain amount just more days i had a mother's day spread and i did a, a day about waiting for summer i did a spread about my dream and i typed it up in the notes app and i printed it it kind of cut off the top part but yeah and then this was the last two weeks of school and it was just me writing out assignments and stuff May 11th, and then this is a letter. It's just glued down like this, I think. And here is a letter from March. This was my first letter, actually, from her. This spread, I have a video on, so I'll put an I card or put it in the description or something. This was a random day, and then this is a spread talking about accidentally in love, and I got to use these fun Polaroids that I made. Yeah, I still need to use the rest of the ones I made. Wednesday and then here I reached 130 subscribers on May 13th and that was super exciting for me so I printed out some of your guys comments all my favorites I love when people comment it's just so nice and I love hearing what you guys have to say so yeah this spread makes me really happy Thursday printed this picture out put a little checklist and I talked about this kind of message to treat every day as if it's special this must have been Friday. Then we got Saturday. I watched Never Have I Ever. I like watched the show and then this is my little review. I had finished it on this day. Sunday. This spread is an Enneagram spread. I am Enneagram for the individualist. It's also just like kind of personality things because I put something about INFP. So I just think this is kind of interesting and I like having a spread on it. I did a playlist. This one, not important. We just have Monday spread and then I couldn't sleep so I did a random little spread in the middle of the night. <laughs> 
This was a Tuesday. And I have a little collage. I think it goes on. Then I had my AP test day, which was not fun. I included a picture of like my setup and stuff for the day. So this is when I got my Dollar Tree stuff. I'll also have that video linked somewhere on an iCard because I did stuff about all this stationery I used. YouTube and summer videos. I did a spread of just like these fun quotes. These are all all things Lillian, like illustrations and stuff. I love her shop and stuff and like her Instagram and she really inspires me. So I have a spread of her stuff and this was just a random day. I love when I include pictures. Here I went to Dunkin' and I like inserted pictures of myself. I love it when people put in pictures of themselves in their own journal because like honestly a journal is for you. So you're gonna be the one looking back at it. So it's really cool to be able to see your old self. This was just a day and I took the time to make this checkered border which I literally just filled in each square and I put that in my Dollar Tree video as well. I did a little hockey tribute. I don't know. It was kind of weird but it was basically just saying that I kind of missed that because just something little to look forward to for the weeks. Then this is when I reached 150 subscribers so I put a little thing here that was on May 26th. I think putting this in my journal is really cool because I think it would be cool to look back on later to be able to see when I hit certain points on my channel. Just during the day I was using like new stickers and stuff. I wrote down a dream. I only do it sometimes. Only when dreams really stick with me throughout the day and like I actually care to remember it. And I put like I had a dream at the top because it's like Billie Eilish, her song, everything I wanted. So yeah. Then this day I received my sweatpants from Boohoo. Normally don't buy from those shops, but I was just trying out these sweatpants because I don't know, they're recommended. It doesn't matter anymore. I have a video with the spread, so same with the other videos. I'll have an iCard or linked in the description or something of the sort. I think I'm gonna have too many videos listed, so I might have to just put them all in the description, but I'll try to put an iCard. So I was kind of planning like my videos and like when they were gonna go up. And then this is just a day Friday and then on Saturday. Saturday I tried to be a little more artsy because I don't know it felt like it was a very monumentous day. Is that a word? It was just like kind of a big day. So this was a Saturday. I like how I did the title. It was when the SpaceX rocket was launched and also I think they went to a protest. So Sunday and then I visited my old house so I kind of did a whole picture spread. Pictures of like my old house and like just being there. Monday this was June 1st. So this day I went to another protest and this was like a little information card that they gave out and then I put pictures I went with my friends. This was the point where I was like me going to these protests is more important than like worrying about Corona right now. Of course that's still important but I wasn't gonna let that hold me back so I was with friends at that point and we went together. Here's a picture by the arch at the protest which is kind of cool. Just a random day and then here here I put in this little thing for June. I put in June goals. Don't know if I really ever looked at the goal list, <laughs> but this thing I did keep up with. So every day I wrote down my subscriber count because of what I was saying earlier. Like it's just really cool to be able to look back and see when you reached certain goals or like for this, it's more of seeing how I'm progressing and stuff. Then I was trying to make more of a routine for myself. Didn't really work. These are just random days. I love these cat stickers. I remember really liking this spread just because of these down here. So this sticker I got from a local coffee shop and it like came on bag because I think I got food and I did a little Black Lives Matter because I went to a protest this day. Oh yes, I did because here's another handout that I was given. Okay, so Saturday, I don't think I even got anything from OG Things. I think my mom did and I used her little thing. I guess I got boba. <laughs> I put on some pictures. I don't know if it's for this day or for like the next day or something. I don't know. I just remember having to put these in late. Then here's my pose spread, which I have another video on. Same with the other videos, either iCard or description. But again, I got to use my Polaroid things that I made, which I love. Sunday. Sunday seems eventful. Oh, that fell off. Some of these things don't stay on very well. Actually, these are two different days. So Sunday and then it's Saturday. I went to another protest this day because there's this little dog at the protest. This dog had a sign and it was so cute. 
This is for a coffee shop. I love this coffee shop now, but I found it because it's a black owned business. And so I put a little support black owned businesses here. This was kind of like a mood board uh, manifest for June, I guess, even though like June had already started. Tuesday, I like stickers and like, I went to see Oliver again. So here, like you can see with the yellow here, but I was trying to use more watercolors and stuff as backgrounds. I added like this little fun thing cause I finally got some paychecks in and like drew it through. I kind of like how it's separated like this. I don't know, kind of fun. Thursday, pictures. I did a little mail time. I don't know, I guess it was just what I got in the mail. Oh, I talked about my fear of driving and then also my future. I had this idea for a tiny studio very exciting then this is just a random day but actually i hit 170 subscribers so i guess you'll just keep seeing these little mini milestones throughout this journal again just kind of random day that's what most of these are gonna be so this is from penzi spices then this is a letter from julia i actually love how i did this page just very simplistic then i put in pictures for saturday and here is the page for saturday these are two kind of reviews they're not very serious reviews it was just because i watched those movies that day and i wrote down kind of my thoughts on them i keep doing that throughout this journal so you'll see i watched a lot of studio ghibli during this time I watched laputa and grave of the fireflies oh my god grave of the fireflies is so sad if you want to cry your eyes out that is what you watch it's so sad like no there's no happy ending sunday then we've got howl's moving castle love that movie monday oh my god this was when my dog i noticed she had a swollen face she was already acting weird the night before in the end we think she ate like a wasp or something so yeah she had to go to the hospital i don't know i talked about that oh this is the day i dyed my hair green so i did a whole page green i don't know it didn't really turn out how i wanted it to my hair like the color didn't show up very well after i printed them so you can barely tell that my hair is green here's just just another day again more use of watercolor i'm still kind of continuing that here's juneteenth and then did i go to another protest on juneteenth i went to a protest and what's in here i think this is what yeah this is the paper that we got i had to trim it down i think it was a full size piece and like this was part of it yeah this was a really cool protest because it was on juneteenth and also they were giving out different things they gave me this mask so now i have a defund police mask i honestly don't know where it is right now i think it's in like a backpack or something but i love wearing that one and making my opinions so clear to everyone so here it's a little sleepover i just recently like finished this this day i put in like a piece of craft paper this is from muji i recently well no not recently whenever i made this i found this paper i had been like missing it for a while i mean i kind of just forgot about it anyway this was like a rainy evening spread i think it's just of this day we have father's day and this is just a random monday but i really love this spread much more went into it than my regular spreads like we've got these cute little letter stickers the craft paper just everything about it got my nails done that's when i got these nails done so what was that like maybe a month ago it held up for a while also i like how i did a banner for father's day this is more of monday we went hammocking and these are the names of the nail colors i got my green one is gone it was on my middle fingers they were just all tea names and that was really satisfying for me for some reason tuesday had some chamomile and some detox tea i guess and this brand of tea like has like a little message on the tea tag very recently i went in and i like finally put in these photos but we've got a wednesday a thursday i like this spread before the pictures i mean i just needed to add the pictures because the pictures just add a lot more value to the page it's not really about aesthetics it's just so like i can look back at that later but i like put this metro card and like chopsticks that was a fun day i did a currently page and then a packing list 
So the next pages get way too personal. But actually, I feel like I should share this. Basically, I was like, I was being mean to myself. And then um, I flipped the page and I just started writing nice things about myself to try to turn things around, you know? Instead of just sitting and being upset, I was trying to turn it around. Then we have Saturday, Sunday. These are all these days I was in Arkansas. I literally took zero pictures in Arkansas. So I have like no interesting pictures. I could have done like a whole spread on it. I still need to update my travel journal and like do a travel journal spread i don't know there might be a video coming about that just a random day and then here i got my first letter from one of my newer pen pals her name is ashley hi ashley if you're watching this video i make all my letters into spreads and this is a continuation of her letter and then this is from julia this part has been falling apart well really ever since i put it on here Mm, a stormy day i used a page from a journal and pasted it on here then things i want to do before summer ends so this is like kind of the part of my journal where i feel like it starts to get better here i just like kind of reflected on this quote i don't know it was from a book and i liked it i kind of talked about it also i just coincidentally had this tea bag thing that like talked about a similar topic and then also i ended up putting in this little thing for pride month because i hadn't done anything in my journal for pride month this came to the razor i bought and i thought it was really pretty so i put it in <laughs> then we have july 1st i love this title i made a playlist thursday friday i love how this looks another one of these stickers another day more of friday actually fourth of july shocked i even went this festive i did not like the fourth of july i literally said really shouldn't it be a holiday i don't even like fireworks also i made a banana question mark then here i just like this page is satisfying for me because it's kind of aesthetic minimalistic here it's just a picture from a magazine that i wanted to include and then i was just doodling like for some reason i had the urge to draw and so i drew i'm not good at drawing but i need to try to get better this was just like thinking out loud basically this was kind of a random page i don't really like how it turned out Sunday and Monday. Oh, also I watched Edge of Seventeen and I did a little review. Like, I didn't need to say much. <laughs> but I had this from a magazine, so I thought it was a cool way to use it. Then I hit 200 subscribers and I tried to do something special. It kind of looks crappy, but it's fine. I painted the back blue. And I like this page because I did little sketches of, like, things of my day. They're not very good sketches, but, like, if you make it kind of look sketchy and, like, I don't know, it makes it look good even if you're bad at drawing. So that's why I did it. I talked about this song again. I talked about this in my first journal. Then we have a Wednesday. I like the title and also I had this picture that I had to put in later. I did napkin art, which was, I'm literally a child. This was July 9th. Very exciting. I had my four year anniversary. Also, I'm so sad that this smudged, but basically I've been vegan for four years. Very exciting. Next year is going to be even more exciting. I feel like this was the first year where I had a real celebration. So basically, I have a vegan friend now. I like to say that it was because of me. Actually, I think it was. I think she said that to me before. Makes me very happy. And so we went to a restaurant that has like vegan things. Then we went book shopping and we went to multiple bookstores and it was very exciting. And I got a lot of books. This was the actual day. This was the day of my anniversary, And then this was the next day, which on the next day I had this, which I went on a picnic with my friends from school. And so I did like a whole spread on it because I haven't seen them since school. Ever since school went online, we've been watching Pose on Netflix Watch Party, but we literally haven't seen each other since school so it was very exciting someday this one is a fun quote it says every single part of you will attract somebody who is attracted to every single part of you it's very straightforward you might say it's obvious that's what my sister said but that was a quote by megan rinks and it's from her memoir or sort of memoir as she calls it you're not special and i was reading that at the time i think i finished it this day monday and tuesday here I did a page about skincare. I got a new little skincare set and a checklist. Here's my second letter from Ashley. I put her little title thing, flip it that way. This is random. Here's like my reading checklist for the summer. I've been really loving reading this summer. I kind of want to do a book haul. So let me know if you want that. I have lots of books that I recently got. And this one I haven't done a spread yet. 
This was like fairly recently, so I might still go back and do this spread of books that I've read this summer. I also kind of want to do it again in my new journal. We'll see. Here we have Thursday and Saturday. No, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So here is kind of like not journaling as much. It kind of stopped over here. Like I was kind of just stopping and like not journaling as much. So as you can see, there's a lot less writing. This came from an AliExpress order that I ordered months ago. I ordered whatever this was in March, maybe. It was like literally the beginning of quarantine. Again, I'm stopping buying from there, but yeah. These came in the AliExpress order and I think they're just so, so cute. So happy I got them, not gonna lie. And then this I literally should have done the end of the school year. I should have done this in May, but I'm doing it in June instead. I'm not gonna explain what this is, but it's with my friends. <laughs> so it's a ton of pictures. Here's a little another subscriber mark, 215. Very exciting. Monday, got some more washi tape in the mail. And then that was it. July 20th was the day I ended. And this was journal number three again. And I said my little goodbyes. And then on the back, I wrote goodbye. And that's it. So this is my journal. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. That was a lot to get through. I feel like I was probably repetitive, but that's it for this journal. Just to get you a little excited, I already showed you this journal in my decorating my next journal video, but this is my next journal and I'm very excited about it. I'm already having a better start with it than I did with this journal. I feel like while I was making this journal, I was just constantly like, do I really like these pages? And like, like especially at the beginning um but now i'm just loving this journal and i'm loving how it's going and it's getting me out of my little journaling rut also i have a big project coming up soon so definitely get excited about that because it's something that will involve you guys too if you want it to so again thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next one